well, they upset the odds again here. This is the team picked by Leonardo Jardim. The futures of Davinho, Mbappe and Lamar still open to much speculation, but all three of them start tonight with the club seemingly determined not to let any more star names go this summer. Two new arrivals start, Terence Congolo, who won the Eredivisie with Feyenoord last season, and Yuri Tielemans, also a title winner, that with Anderlecht in Belgium. It will be the 4-4-2 formation that was so successful for Jardim and Monaco last season. It's the ninth year in a row that the trophy des champions has been contested outside of France and Morocco is the seventh different host nation in that time. The others have been Canada, Tunisia, the USA, Gabon, China and Austria. In fact, this is actually the second time that the final has been staged at this stadium in Morocco. The last one was played in front of just shy of 34,000 people. It saw Marseille beat Lille 5-4 in 2011. Forget half as good a game tonight. We'll be pleased with that. Myself and Clive Allen, who is alongside me, all the big names out in force here, Clive. Yeah, and I think that just shows an intent from both coaches that they're, they're looking to certainly uh, establish the pattern and their team ethic for the start of the coming season, which begins next weekend. And certainly uh, lots of questions as to how Monaco can react to the the sow of so much talent through the summer. But the opportunity for one or two younger players again to emerge and they seem to have a conveyor belt, none more so than this man Mbappe, who is at the moment, Adam, I've got to say, priceless in terms of the transfer market and the way it is. No Di Maria for PSG, he's suspended. Draxler's not quite ready yet, having gone all the way with Germany at this summer's Confederations Cup. One new signing in the starting 11, and Danny Alves needs no introduction. There will be plenty surprised to see him, we think, on the right of a front three. The Paris-born goalkeeper Alphonse Ariola gets the nod over Kevin Trapp in goal tonight for Paris Saint-Germain. Nouradine El Jafari is the referee, 39-year-old Moroccan. As referees just recently in the African equivalent of the Champions League, so it does have plenty of experience behind him. Here come Unai Emery and Leonardo Jardim. Jardim, desire to attack and to win. But while we saw that thunderous start from Monaco, I think probably fair to say that with almost half an hour gone now, it's a game that PSG have grown into and grown into in terms of their control of it. Yeah, it's just flattened out the way that they play. But they could be in trouble here as Monaco threaten. The chip shot is in. And they have the opening goal. Smartly taken by Sidibe. Just as Paris were dominating possession, Monaco seemed like they were happy to let them have it. And Sidibe raced through on goal. The chip over the advancing goalkeeper with just over half an hour gone. Well, that is quite wonderful. We talked about PSG in that control possession, but that was a classic example of Monaco on the counter. When that ball's played through, brilliant first touch. What a magnificent finish that is. Superbly taken from Sidibe. Fabinho, the one... The ball played up, back and through, and then the touch is just sensational. Over the keeper, Ariola, no chance whatsoever. Brilliant finish from Sidibe. Monaco take the lead. And that's his first Monaco goal since December of 2016. Six La Liga titles he's won in his career as well. What a wealth of winning experience he brings with him. The Paris Saint-Germain, which Juventus benefited from last season. Thiago Silva's there too. This is going to be Danny Alves though. Oh, what a hit. An amazing way for Danny Alves to open his Paris Saint-Germain account. That is a stunning strike from the Brazilian. You simply do not stop those, and Paris are on terms in Morocco. <laughs> Subasic looked completely bewildered, but that is something quite sensational. I'm not so sure that he's ever hit a free kick as sweet as he does here. Look at the way he strikes it. It moves away to the goalkeeper's right, and it just doesn't deviate from exactly where he wants it to end up, in that top corner. What a magnificent strike. Power, pace, precision from Danny Alves. 
What a superb free kick. 34 years young now, Danny Alves. But he still keeps producing. He still keeps winning. Seems to enjoy playing against them. Here's Thiago Motta. Marquinhos. Width provided here by Munier. And now Danny Alves, 3 to a Matt in the middle. It's Rabio! And it's Paris Saint-Germain in the lead. Unai Emery's side have turned it around in Morocco. He planted that head at home. And it's certainly been Paris Saint-Germain's half so far. Well, he had an earlier opportunity just a few minutes ago, but this time he wasn't going to pass up a second. But it's all come from the work of Danny Alves. He started the move, he ends up on the byline. He delivers a delicious cross back to Rabio, who this time meets it on the fall, but has got everything right about it. Alves gets the run to the byline, wonderful little chip cross, and Rabio powers the ball into the back of the net. Unstoppable header. PSG on the evidence of this second half deserved the lead. Well, what a performance it's been here from Danny Alves. So influential, the 34-year-old who has arrived on a free from Juventus this summer. They were so loath to see him go. They didn't want him to leave. Turned down Manchester City. What an asset he's going to be, it would seem, to Paris Saint-Germain. Scores a beauty of a free kick, then provides the assist from which Rabiot puts PSG in front. And look at